There were 3,500 media at the opening ceremony of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. And as those journalists go back into their hotels preparing for the first day of competition, culture at the Olympics is focused on everything that happens outside of those venues, whether it's local politics, controversy around transportation, the impact of COVID on the proceedings. We cover everything that's happening off the track. And one of the things that's really interesting that happens at every Games now is the creation of the Olympic truce wall. And the truce wall is there to allow athletes to sign their name, to underpin this mission that the Olympic movement has, which is to bring the world together in peace during the Olympic Games programme. It goes back all the way to ancient Greece, where a similar principle was enacted in order to allow athletes safe passage to ancient Olympia to take part in the Games. The same idea is happening right now at Tokyo, where athletes are only enabled to go by being in conditions of peace. You will have heard it in Thomas Bach's uh, speech during the opening ceremony. Without this precondition, the Games can't take place. So on every day of the Games, athletes are able to go down to the Olympic truce wall and sign their name to support the movement towards peace that the Olympic Games enshrines through its symbol of bringing countries together. It's something that also proliferates the discourse of Olympism within its community. As you would have heard in President Thomas Bach's speech, solidarity relies on caring for each other and making sure that these things are in place in order to make sure peace can occur. So it's one of those things that's off the beaten track. Take a look, it's really interesting.